G'day guys, welcome back to G-Man Speaks. Today we're gonna to take a look at a video called How Women Are Highly Inconsistent When It Comes to Height and Weight in Modern Dating. This is by FBE Capital. Original video link in the description, let's jump in. Can we just stop commenting on women's bodies? Dangerous, <laughs> stereotypical view of beauty. To comment on a woman's weight. Going into eating disorders? disgusting we have men sitting there going well yeah you have to be this way you have to look that way otherwise you know i think it's um i think there are some guys who say that so that chick there i remember her it was this huge thing in the media here a few years ago now she was on a show called married at first sight um you can tell obviously by the way she's dressing herself with all the makeup and everything fake about her that she has body image issues right she has to put on a fake front a fake everything about her but there's this huge thing there's some chad guy that she was married to on the show and he said that she was too fat for him or something like that. And so then they, you know, they, got, they all jumped on this guy in the media. I should probably dig it up. Um, but it was really interesting to see. But they talk about the pressure that women have put on them by society. They put it on themselves. A lot, I, I can tell you, like, many men don't like that whole caked on, you know, look, chicks that look like the Joker or Pennywise from It or whatever you want to say. Most guys don't like that look. Um, they do it to themselves. Many men that we don't want girls with um, Botox injected into the face and uh, lip fillers and rhinoplasty and all the other things they do to modify themselves to make themselves um, feel like they're attractive. But it actually does the opposite. Many men are not attracted to that. It's very interesting, the psychology. I don't, As I said on this channel, I don't think we'll ever work out women and how they think, but there's no accountability for the things they do and the pressures they put themselves under. It's literally not all men are doing that. It, is before, it would be a small percentage of guys that are saying shit like that. You're not worthy enough. You are less than six feet. Do not come near me. So I don't like <laughs> short guys. Because I don't like them. Yeah, if you're short, you got a tiny... Six five at least. Oh. It's kind of gross. I went on several days with him. I could not touch. Shorter than you. Oh, you no. Know, he's this tall. I would pick him up and I'd put him up on the wall and I would do that. <laughs> like, Are you hitting on short men? Yeah, I was kind of mean. It was like a derogatory stance, I guess you could say. How tall? Like at least six four. At least. Six five. Six six. Six five and above. You gotta be like six five. Did you date a shorter guy? A short guy? Shorter than me? Yeah. And how rich is he? <laughs> oh boy, the crazy inconsistent. So they can, yeah, they're complaining about feeling like they're gonna have makeup and cut themselves up and do all these things to themselves. But they they criticize and and, and put pressure on men about height. It's something we can't change. I mean, there are guys I've seen it. They go to these um extreme lengths like you see those um shows where they do the surgery where they like shatter their legs and and stretch out the bones or something like that and, and, and they grow a few inches um, because they've like ripped all the bones apart and put them back together in a certain way and they're basically walking on stilts made of bone and metal inside their legs just to get girls to maybe like them those are some of the lengths that guys will go to but it's always been the thing it's always been a thing that a lot of women especially the types that you see on these TikToks and on the dating apps. Not all women. So guys always say this. I, I love women, but I like calling women out on the shit that they come up with on social media. So TikToks and these sort of videos on YouTube because it's a subset of women that are like this, but they do ruin it for, for a lot of them. But a lot of them are just really nasty about it. I've even dated women who have told me if a guy is shorter than me or whatever, won't even look at you like you're subhuman. So yeah, I think it is really a thing. I know some people deny it. And look, I'm not going to say it's for all women because I know guys, and I've said it in my other videos, I know guys who are five foot five with nice looking wives and families. So I think it's if you're on a dating app, it's a different story. Like you're going to get looked over. You're going to get... Um, nonchalantly let's just passed over like you're a piece of shit more or less critical madness of entitlement nonsense that we are currently living in really knows no limits now does it because if you were to ask any of these women who love to make fun of a guy's height how fat they are or more precisely how much they actually weigh then they are insulted beyond belief just say yeah how tall are you how tall are you what are you saying so how much you weigh so how much you weigh but how much you weigh? 
But what's even more insane is that even though they love to blame men for their body image issues, it's actually women themselves who criticize other women far more. Get is that the, what's her name, the Ratatowski chick? That all, she's like, uh, I know heaps of guys like, oh, she's the hottest chick in the world and all that. To me, she's the biggest walking red flag of what a woman should not be, with the way she behaves and all the shit that she puts out on social media. Talking about starter husbands and all this sort of bullshit. But I listen to the, the, the these women, they get these role models who are like just bad people. They're not good human beings in any way. And they and they try and emulate their lives. These 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 yeah, well, I don't even know what her name Rat well, I don't know if, what her actual name is. And Emily, that's right, Emily Ratatowski or whatever. They try and be like them. They try and be like Rihanna. Shit like that. Like slurries. They want to be a slurry. Like that's their idol. Beggar's belief to me. It's like it's like me if, uh, wanting to be like a drug addict or something. I like can make bad choices. I'm like, oh, I want to be like that. And then wonder why my life's shit. It's like... In our heads, worrying if we look like it's the not, models, though. I it's, 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 it's women. women. It's other it's women. Like yes, I agree. It is women. We've been saying this all along. Now with that said, let's move on to the insanity of demanding men to be at least 6 foot 4 or even 6 foot 7, since this all starts with women failing to understand even six, their seven. own height. How tall are you? 5 foot. How tall are you? 5 foot. Alright. And if you are not 6 foot, you are not for me. Whoa. Damn. How short is too short in a guy? Truly your height. You are almost the same height. You are almost the same height. <laughs> How tall are you? 5 8. 5 8. Okay. How tall do you think five, I am? 5'8", outwards. 5'6". 5'6". I'm like 5'10". Is that, is that tall enough? No, that's too short. No, that's too short. Jesus Christ, man. I think some of these girls literally are retarded. At this point, you start to think that this can possibly be real, right? Because even if you give her a few extra inches for that excellent form that she's holding, then she's still not even- Oh, you dirty bastards at home. You dirty, dirty scumbag bastards. This chick on the screen here. This fat little ball of dough. You're the ones online saying, you are so hot, you're my queen. You know, you're trying to get her off plenty of fish. You're trying to get her in the back of your VN down the cricket pavilion, right? In the rain. And she's now gassed up now. You did it, you. Close to being taller than this dude. However, these other two are truly excellent specimens of the upside down world we live in since they are basically breaking their necks just to look up to those guys and they still claim that these guys are too short. But wait, it gets much, much worse. Because let me introduce you to the fiancé from hell. I believe a guy should not expect anything. But, but a girl should? Yes. If you're a guy, <laughs> you can't sit there and pick and choose what you want. You know what I mean? A girl has to decide for you. Wow. I just can't Jesus wait to marry Christ, this girl. Jesus Christ, man. Look at, the, look at the fucking head. So how, how does a chick who looks like this with a busted ass head I literally is a snaggle tooth chick. You're like, oh, G-Man, you're being mean. No, I'm not. I'm just literally a fax. It's a fact. How she can act this way. It's social media. It's dating apps. It's simping guys who make these women who are sub sub subpar, substandard. And, and actually, even just hearing her open her mouth, she's gone to a negative 10 out of 10. Like she's 20 points down. But these guys, they want to marry him. <sighs> Jesus Christ. Please drop a like on the video if you think it's near impossible to find any suitable girl to marry these days. Um, I'm nice and I'm, I'm pretty cute and I wear minimal clothing to the club. <laughs> minimal clothing. <laughs> and comment down below what you think. So this guy right here is her actual fiance. Now listen to what she says about her dating standards. What do you guys think about height? Like height on a guy, how important is it? Very important. Yeah. Six, two and above, if it's a guy. That's hey, how you doing? Yeah. We're, we're doing YouTube, yeah. Yeah, you liar. Yep, she's a big fat liar. She was so confident in saying that guys have to be at least six foot two to get with her. But then it turns out she can't get any of these guys to marry her. But wait, there's more. What if a girl puts no short guys on her dating profile. Is that wrong or? That's a must. Oh, looks. So you might as well put everything that you're wanting. So you guys don't have a problem if a guy on his dating profile says skinny girls only or like no fatties. Is there something wrong with it? 
Absolutely. Every- That's classic, guys. No, of course they say something wrong with it because it's a double standard. But I was banned. I've told you guys. I've been banned off Bumble and Hinge for saying similar comments. I did put in my profile. If you're under, if you're over 60 kilos, please don't contact me. Keep swiping. And I got that many swipes. And then I got abused when I matched them because I was like, here we go. I'm getting all these matches here. I like rage baited them all and they just abused me and then blocked me. And then they've obviously they've reported me. And then the next thing you know, um, the Bumble app says you cannot no longer use it. Anyway, guys, about halfway through. So if you're enjoying the content, please subscribe to the channel. Aiming for 10K subscribers. And yeah, the best way you can help me, guys, is watch the videos through um, to the end. That's what really helps me out and gets me out to more people. Cheers. Everything is wrong with it. That guy needs some mental help. He's narcissistic. <laughs> oh, really? So the guy needs mental help? No. The only person who needs mental help is the hypocritical pathological liar that can't keep her story straight for more than two seconds, thinking she's a queen and that all men are her servants. Huh? I believe a guy should not expect anything. Come on, man. At this point, all I have to say to her fiance is if you're not breaking up your engagement right now after hearing all of that, then you are beyond saving, my man. Anyways, at this point, it's pretty clear. No, but he'll go through with it. As I always say, guys put themselves in a prison of their own creation. They know that the chick that they've got is probably no good. They have all these uh, bad behaviors. I've been there. I've been there and done that, all right? You accept it for what it is. You think, now nah, she'll get better. Once we get married, she'll turn really nice. It'll, it's just, just a bit of a phase. You get married, it gets worse. So no, he, he won't get rid of her because it is hard to do. A lot of men put their head in the sand. I've done it. Um, and then you have a really bad result down the line. You're kicking the can down the road at a huge cost to you through going through the family court system and all that. It's horrible. Yes. So, no, he won't He won't call it off. That All of this six-foot nonsense goes way beyond just wanting a guy that's clearly much taller than they are, but that it's simply about a bunch of sheep regurgitating that six-foot exactly. nonsense because they hear other women say it. Okay, what's the ideal height, you think? Um, 6'9". 6'9". <laughs> okay. Oh boy. And this insanity starts going parabolic when you point out that rejecting someone based on a physical requirement, such as height... Okay, you funny and all, but like... You a midget, I can't do it. Sorry, baby. It's the height, but we could be friends. It's exactly the same as rejecting someone based on another physical requirement, such as weight. I'm sure it's because I'm overweight that he didn't want to go. It's not the same. How is that not the same? It's not the same. Right. And then he... It's the same. Why not? It's just not. The guy says only skinny girls. Is that acceptable? No. What if the girl says only tall guys? I get where this is coming from because it's like both physical features. There's no argument. I know, which is not fair. I know, I know, I know. No, she doesn't know. You can literally see the wheels in her head spinning. She, the wheels in her head are spinning. There's nothing in there at all. It's just like not even a wheel. It's a fucking little rock or some kind of little monkey hitting two rocks together. Like she's trying to think of an argument as to why, but she can't because there isn't one trying to defeat the logic that's being poured into it as if she's fighting off some kind of virus. But I think for girls, like they're more self-conscious about like weight. So you don't want to like You don't think men are out. self-conscious about how? I'm sure they are, but I, I don't, I don't know. It's, I don't know. I know, I know, I know, I don't know. No, because we are literally talking about two physical parameters of the human body. One you are born with that is hard-coded in your DNA and the other you have full control over. Now I can already hear the diehard feminists go, what about PCOS and thyroid issues and genetics? Not everybody can- Oh have- yeah, I've got thyroid issues. I know this girl years ago and she was telling me about her friend who all of a sudden put on a whole bunch of weight. She was fat, right? I said, because she's fat and she eats a lot of food. She said, no, no, she's thyroid. We went out one day, we went out to somewhere for a coffee and she she bought like a fucking 12 pack of- um. Krispy Kreme donuts and was just smashing like four of them. It's like 2,000 calories, like straight on there. So it's not a thyroid, that's bullshit. Yeah, maybe in some people, but people use that as a crutch. Help their weight. I've gained a lot of weight over the past like two years, which my doctor said is likely because of PCOS. And yes, that is all very valid bull. Because if you look at the numbers, then according to the CDC, only 6 to 12% of American women actually have PCOS. And according to the NHS, only 1 in 10 women have PCOS in the UK. 
So how the hell the 6 to 12% and 10% weigh up to the 100% of men that are short because of their DNA? It doesn't. And it just proves once again how women love to make every situation about how incredibly hard it is to be a woman and that they are the only ones that oh, struggle in life. As women, we are under a constant barrage from Hollywood, media. Right, because all the men in those magazines and movies look like absolute garbage, right? She's pretending as if there are no high physical standards for men in movies, media, and entertainment. It's absolutely ridiculous. Just classic victimhood mentality where you turn every possible discussion into a situation where somehow you are the victim and the whole world is against you and your life is so incredibly hard. Every desirable woman you see pretty much on the cover of a men's magazine or a women's Okay, magazine. I'm gonna say this, is, I'm gonna interrupt this, right? Because they, these are the kinds of women that carry on with this bullshit. They're not attractive, right? So then they're, they're, they're trying to bring down like the beauty standards of other women being attractive because they're ugly. <laughs> like this chick's a, nothing wrong with her, but she's an average girl, maybe slightly below average, right? She's sitting here saying how life's so hard for women, but I'm sure she's not really facing that because the kind of guys that she'll get with are not going to be putting her under any pressure to be super hot because they won't go anywhere near her. They might, they might bang their ass off it, you know, get her to drop a bit of neck, as I said, behind the cricket ground. But I always find it funny. It's like when they get these um, HR chicks or, or people, people going to HR about things. You know, the big fat chicks go on HR, like, no guy's ever going to do anything to you. But somewhat, you, 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 these are the ones screaming about workplace harassment, etc. It's like, I don't know what planet you're living on. These guys are blind or retarded or something, but no guy's touching you in the workplace. Always found that hilarious. Magazine or in any movie is a woman who's like a size zero. See this size zero nonsense? They always love to use these extreme cases as if there's no healthy options between morbidly obese and size zero. And in addition to this, they also pretend as if there's no constant promotion of plus size and fat bodies in mainstream media. Look at Adele, Kim Kardashian, Lizzo, Beyonce, Kylie Jenner, and the list. Fucking Lizzo, you know, that shit, that, that shit getting pushed out. Obviously, I'm in Australia, like. She wasn't pushed here heavily, but you'd see her on the the news and all that, saying that she's big and she's sexy, and they're showing the bikini at the beach, saying that she's stunning and she's turning heads. Mate, it's guys whale watching. I they, they can try and push this, um, you know, fat chicks are hot stuff, but at the end of the day, they're not. Um, I don't think it's ever truly going to get up. You try and push it, you try and say it, keep screaming from the rooftops that fat girls are just as hot as skinny girls. It's never going to be the case. This just goes on and on and on. So at what point are there enough celebrity covers, movies, and ad campaigns to stop this massive lie that only size zero women are celebrated in media? Because it's simply not true. And it once again proves that women love to make up their own facts to win the argument. However, when you force them to stick to the actual facts and be consistent across all cases, then all of a sudden they start to get that allowing rejection based on height, but not on weight, is complete hypocrisy. Is it wrong for a girl to put on her Tinder bio, no shortcuts? I think every girl has a checklist in their head, and if that's on her checklist, I think I like transparency. So what if a guy says, skinny girls only or no fatties on his it's Tinder? Totally standard. It's, it's totally not standard, you're right. Yeah. Fair enough. I think girls are wrong for that. Now on the one hand, Flesh finally saw reason as one of the very few. However, it amazes me how you have to go into detail explaining this concept and slow walk them through the process as if men and women are being taught different physics. It's literally as if they are hearing this for the very first time. You know, people gained weight like throughout their whole entire life and like sometimes you can't control it. So like... Which one's more under your... I mean, I don't think y'all are... Yeah. It's important <laughs> she, to note here that I'm not for restricting speech. I believe that you're allowed to say whatever you want and reject people for whatever reason you see fit. If you prefer skinny girls over fat girls, that's perfectly fine. And if you want tall guys over short guys, that's fine too. They and exactly. I made a comment before, like fat chicks in, uh, aren't going to be pushed as the mainstream hot. I've got nothing against fat chicks. Where we've all put away a few monsters in our time. We've all put, put away a few fatties. You're going to be lying if you say you haven't. Uh, and some of you guys should prefer your fatties. Nothing wrong with it. I'm not making fun of it. I'm just saying that they're not going to be mainstream except it is hotter than models. It's just not going to happen. Whoever you like. However, what I do have a problem with is when you start restricting the debate, saying that you can reject guys based on their height, but you can't reject women based on their weight. That is completely ridiculous. 
And in addition to this, if you are indeed going to be very picky about who you're dating, then there must be a good reason to date you as well. And ironically, women love to say this all the time, but they don't seem to get that it actually applies to them as well. People can't be too picky, yeah. is, is the bottom line. Six foot and above. I'm sorry, NBA players, that's just how it goes. But then you limit your options, and you're probably not attractive enough to have those standards, is all I'm saying. No, I agree with her, 110%. Oh, the irony. She says that she agrees with her friend 100%, but she doesn't even realize that her friend just basically called her delusional. I mean, to use their own words, she's very clearly not attractive enough to limit her options to NBA players only. Now, the bigger issue here is look that- Look at this, look at this. How do these things, these fat, chunky, overweight birds, sloppy chicks, have such a big viewership? It goes to show you that women watch absolute rubbish and take the worst advice from each other. I've made so many videos on this, guys. The Jedi High Council, right? The the jury, the, the friendship groups they go to to ask for advice and who they emulate behaviors from and who they are, are, are shaped from, who they are influenced by. They're all burning piles of just dumpster fire shit. <laughs> they got nothing going for them. They're just sperm receptacles right and they're following each other with this rubbish and i don't know i just i think it's uh, this is really bad i mean this wasn't like it too bad like yeah it was around like four or five years ago and i was on the dating apps doing all this shit but i think it's gotten a lot worse i think it's because of these like, tiktok i think tiktok is like poisoned uh a generation of women uh with rubbish yeah all right, guys, that's probably my, my finishing note. I'm not going to watch this out, right? This has got another four minutes. Uh, if you guys want to go and check out the original clip without my interjections, please follow the link uh, in the video description. Uh, give them a like, comment, sub to them. And thank you all very much um, who watched it this far. I appreciate it. I'll see you all in the next one.